Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has vowed that Israel can stand alone in the face of U.S. warnings after the military began what it called a limited operation in Rafah, Gaza. Thousands of people have fled the city as tensions escalate. U.S. President Joe Biden has repeatedly cautioned against a full-scale invasion, stating it would cross a red line. Despite the warnings, Mr. Netanyahu dismissed the U.S. stance, citing Israel's historical resilience. The U.S. has suspended armed shipments over concerns of civilian casualties in Rafah, further escalating the situation. The U.N. reported over 80,000 people fleeing the city, with shortages of food and fuel for those still sheltering. Israeli forces have closed crossings and conducted targeted raids against Hamas elements. The possibility of a full-scale invasion looms, prompting strong warnings from the U.S. Palestinian media reported casualties from Israeli airstrikes, while Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad retaliated with attacks on Israeli forces. Efforts for a peace deal have faltered as both sides left talks in Cairo. Israel asserts victory in Gaza is unattainable without taking Rafah and eliminating Hamas. The conflict, ongoing for seven months, has claimed thousands of lives and hostages. The situation remains tense as Israel faces mounting international pressure over its military actions in Gaza.